Hey guys, I do a lot of breakfast recipes on the show, partly because breakfast is really the only meal of the day that I can guarantee my entire family is going to be home for, and it's really important to me that everybody leave for their day with a full tummy. Now, I wish that meant my kids came downstairs every morning asking for something healthy, but they don't. So today I'm gonna to show you how I make breakfast cookies. They're actually a really healthy way to start your day and one that your kids will be psyched about. All right, so let's go through our ingredients. For your dry, you'll need some quick cooking oats, whole wheat flour, almond flour or almond meal, some hemp parts, baking powder, baking soda and salt, and then some cereal for topping. And for your wet ingredients, you'll need some mashed banana, canned pumpkin, almond butter, agave syrup, honey, vanilla, oil, and some filling like carob chips. All right, so I know it looks like I have a lot of ingredients, which I do, but the good news is I'm using one bowl, so very little cleanup, unless you have lots of little bowls for your ingredients, but that's just for show for you guys. Okay, so let's start with our wet ingredients. We're gonna do some banana, which I've mashed up. Next, I have a little bit of pumpkin, and I'm using canned today, obviously. The other stuff is just so hard to work with. Okay, get that all in there, and then I've got a little bit of almond butter. Actually, it's a fair amount of almond butter, which is really nice because there's so much protein in here. You can't make cookies without a little bit of vanilla. I just love the flavor of vanilla and everything. And then I have some vegetable oil. This will add a nice moistness to our cookies, followed by some agave syrup. And then I'll finish our wet ingredients off with some honey. And honestly, the only reason I'm using honey is because one time I ran out of agave syrup and finished it off with honey. It was delicious and worked really well. So we'll drizzle that in and start stirring. Now we can move on to our dry ingredients, starting with our oats. Today I'm using quick cooking, but you can also use old fashioned. I just really prefer the texture of the quick cooking. I've also got a little bit of whole wheat flour. All purpose works totally fine, and you can do that. Then I've got some almond flour, and this is really nice because it has a little extra protein and also keeps your cookies moist. You'll need a little bit of baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then also some hemp hearts, which are awesome because they have extra protein as well as magnesium. Now we can mix everything together. And if it gets too clumpy, you can move over to a spoon. At this point, you can be done with your batter or you can add in a little extra something. Sometimes that's mini chocolate chips in our family, not too frequently. Sometimes it's goji berries for an extra healthy kick. Today I'm gonna compromise right in the middle with some carob chips. These are low in fat, high in fiber, and close enough to a chocolate chip. We'll mix this up and we'll be ready to go. Now I'm gonna put my batter onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I will use an ice cream scoop because when I was making matcha muffins, every one of you commented that this is what I should scoop with. So I'm doing it today just for you guys. And then finally I'm gonna add a little bit of cereal on top, totally optional, but it's kind of a fun take on breakfast cookies. Today I'm just gonna use some O cereal. Now into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right guys, the cookies are out of the oven, looking and smelling delicious. Teddy thinks so too. You can experiment with this recipe, taking out the pumpkin, adding a little bit more banana, or topping it with different cereal. But any way you make them, I think your kids are gonna love having cookies for breakfast. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Ha ha, I got a in the morning.